Good morning and happy Tuesday. <clears throat> so today's lesson is about, you know, we're coming out of the holidays. Um, we may have had some things pop up, um, some disappointments, some frustrations, all of those type, sorts of things. And for some of us, that can lead us to start questioning ourselves and, you know, what we think of ourselves. And we might start kind of beating up ourselves up over some things that have happened or how we're feeling about the way we handled things and all of those sorts of things. So today we're going to take a moment to really look at those things and try and find a way to see them in a more realistic light. So we are not going to go from doom and gloom to rainbows and butterflies. We are going to go from doom and gloom to, you know, closer to what's actually happening in front of us so that we can handle those situations in a more realistic way. So this is how we do this. The first thing we do is note what, what exactly is the event and notice how we usually describe the event or the relationship or the thing that happened that has us beating up on ourselves. Noticing how many descriptive words we're using, how many opinions and how many judgments we're using, how much of our language around that event really is around good and bad or right or wrong or you know terrible and, and, and all those sort of descriptors. And so it's time to take some pen to paper and describe the event in a non-judgmental way. What are the facts of the event? Times, places, you know, things that are measurable. What are the facts of the event without anyone's opinions, without your opinion, without your opinion of what other people's opinions were, any of that. We're really just looking at the facts of the situation. What actually happened in this event? Then we're going to take a look at how would you, what would happen if you read that event back to you, if it was your best friend, a family member, someone that you love and care for deeply, if they came to you and explained that event to you, how would you respond? How would you, you know, what is the advice you would give and all of that kind of stuff. Looking at, and here's the elements, looking at, again, what are the facts of the event without judgment and without opinions? looking at how, I, I mean, I get it that you are totally special and unique, but I guarantee you this, this event itself, the, the overall event has been experienced millions and billions of times by other people. And so noting that you're not alone, this is not you against the world. You are not the most terrible person in the world. This is something that probably happens every day all around the world, the root of this. And so taking note of the fact that you're not alone. And so what that means is that you're, it's not this big of a deal. It might just be part of the human experience. So we take a look at it non-judgmentally. We take a look at how we're not alone and really, again, putting pen to paper. How is it that you're not alone coming from that voice of a friend, a sister, you know, that, that loving friend in their language as if you're explaining it to someone else? then it's time to find some gratitude. What is some gratitude that you can find about the situation? What are, what, and through this process, after going through this, I'm not alone, only looking at the facts, what is some gratitude that we can pull out of this? What is something that you can hold on to, to say it's actually, there, there's this element of it that it's beneficial that it happened. I'm grateful that this aspect of this is involved. And then the last thing is, what can you pull from this event? What is the one-liner? You know, you probably started off with a one-liner. Oh, I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid, I'm so stupid. What is the one-liner that you can pull out of this that's a little more realistic, maybe grounded in the gratitude, maybe grounded in how you're not alone, maybe grounded in the facts of the situation, but taking a look at the whole thing from this step back from the point of view from, of someone that you love and care about, what is that one liner that you can carry forward with you so that once that spiraling thought comes back, you can replace it with this new, more realistic thought. So again, you're going to take on, you're going to embody your best friend or, you know, someone that you love. You're going to communicate as if this was their problem on paper. You're going to write out what the facts of the situation were. Note how you're not alone in the world, find the gratitude, and then find that one-liner that will substitute that, 
you know, unhelpful thought that keeps uh, bringing you down and feeling that way. As always, you know, like, share, uh, subscribe, all those lovely things. And as always, always, please let me know how this is going for you. And if you have any additional questions about this, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.